In today's video, we will see what is timer control and how it works in Visual Basic 6 by creating a digital clock. Hi friends, I am Yash and I have a quick update for you. If you want to see database connectivity with VB6, then let me know in the comment section. Let's get started. Open up your VB6, select standard EXE. Let's create the clock UI first. Take a frame, place it onto the form. We will need 3 labels for hours, minutes and seconds. I will take 4 more labels, 2 for colons as separator between hours, minutes and seconds. 1 for AM or PM as we are creating 12 hours clock. And 1 label for heading. Set the default captions in the properties window. To save some time, you can select multiple labels together by holding Ctrl key and left click onto the label which you want to select. With this we can change their properties together like font, four color, back style properties together. I will set the fonts to small fonts for that digital look. Four color to light purple, back style property to transparent. After our UI is ready, it's time to use the timer control. Timer control is used to perform any task repeatedly after an interval of time. You can place it anywhere onto the form. It will not appear in the output. To use timer you have to set enable property to true. By default it is set to true. But for interval property you have to set it first as it is empty by default. It decides whether what number of milliseconds the timer event of the timer control will be called. I want to call this timer every second. So I will enter 1000 milliseconds in interval property as it is equal to 1 second. Now comes the coding part. First we will declare 3 integer type variables under general declaration. Where sec will be for seconds, min for minutes and hrs for hours. Now select timer once, timer function or subroutine. Here we will write our code. As this function would be called again and again, we have to be careful that we don't repeat any code that only needs to be executed once. For that we will use if condition. As every time function will be called, so the sec variable should be incremented by one every time. This is what the first line says. Every time seconds will be shown, so the format of seconds should be in two digits. So we have to use format function here to represent it in two digits. Then using if condition we will check whether sec is equal to 60. If yes then increase the min by 1 and show it onto the label 2. Then set the sec equal to 0. The same process will be repeated for the hrs variable. As the min becomes equal to 60 we will increase hrs by 1 and show it onto the label 1. Then set min equal to 0. Now to change am to pm, after every 12 hours, we have to use if condition to check whether hrs is equal to 12 or not. If equal to 12, then check if the label 4 is displaying am or pm and change it with the opposite one. Then set hrs equal to 0. As after 12 hours, it has to be reset it to 0 for next 12 hours. And here our program is ready to be used. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments. Doubts and suggestions are always welcome. Share this video with your friends. Press that like, subscribe, whatever button you may like. For this video, take care. See you until next time.